All right, there's an update coming in on the Pune blast probe as we speak. The ATS has accessed the CCTV footage in which they have spotted a person parking the bike at Faraz Khana parking lot in Pune. The bike which was stolen from the Satara area was kept in the spot for about four long hours before that explosion took place. We have a Mumbai Bureau Chief Sahil Joshi joining me live from Mumbai. Sahil, just take us through the leads now that the police have gathered in this case. Uh, see, uh, ATS who, uh, who have uh, officially taken up uh, this particular investigation of uh, Pune blast uh, which happened at Faraz Khana, uh, they tried to get some uh, CCTV footage from the adjacent uh, shops and uh, uh, various establishments across the area. So they have found out one footage in which they can uh, actually notice one person uh, riding that particular bike which was stolen from Satara and kept that bike on which this blast happened uh, at Faraz Khana parking lot. Uh, uh, they also noticed that uh, uh, the bomb, the IED, the uh, improvised uh, explosive device, was uh, kept in the in the back back side of that particular bike, and uh, because of the blast, uh, that's why the intensity was not that high. Uh, if uh, the IED was uh, kept uh, uh, in uh, near that uh, petrol tank of uh, a motorbike, then the intensity of that blast could have been uh, much higher. Uh, but uh, what police is saying, ATS is saying, is that uh, it's difficult to identify uh, that particular person, but they can. Now they know that one person rode the bike and kept uh, that bike in the parking lot where the blast had happened and this bike was kept at least three to four hours before the blast. So uh, they are sure that there is a time device which they also found out uh, in the forensic uh, uh, material they have found out there. Uh, but now they can be sure that it's a time device which was used in this, this particular blast. They know that one person was riding that particular bike and he kept that bike there. Uh, so now the investigation will go on that particular line. What they think is that uh, the group uh, which uh, might have done this particular blast uh, it can be an inexperienced group because normally the Indian Mujahideen group which had done blast earlier with the help of scooters or uh, 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 motorbikes, uh, they had uh, tried to keep the uh, bomb near the petrol tank so that uh, even if they do not get a highly explosive material like RDX, the intensity of the blast can be bigger than what happened in Pune. So they are right. looking at every angle but this is a major lead that they can identify one person uh, who kept the bike there at uh, Faraz Khana parking lot. All right, Sal, we'll keep coming back to you for more, but that is a huge lead indeed in the Pune blast case. Well, as of now, the Pune police as well as the MHA is not ruling out that this could be a terror attempt.